All right, what's going on, everybody? Varric here. We are going to do a uh, kind of crash course in, in terms of the Pluggy. Um, I know I've been posting some builds, and I constantly say, like, oh, I made this on Pluggy. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys what that is, uh, how to use it a little bit. This is going to be a two-part series. Uh, uh, first, I'm going to show you just how to install it and go through a little bit of the files and, you know, how we create characters, how we um, try different builds out that are already, like, kind of pre-made. Um, and then the next video, I'm going to more talk about how to, you know, how to use Pluggy, right? Once you get into the game, how to use it. I'll also try to talk today about some of the, you know, issues and bugs that came around uh, when I was using Pluggy. And I'll talk about some stuff to, uh, with the next video as well. Um, so I'll do a little bit of both. But let's get into it. So how do we how do we get Pluggy, right? Um, starting from scratch. And, and I want you to know it was a little confusing for me at first. And I'm going to try to impart my knowledge onto you. Um, but starting from scratch, right, let's <clears throat> let's get into it. We're going to open up the Discord, Project Diablo 2, and we're going to go to bot spam. And I've already done this a couple times because this is not my first attempt at the video. Uh, but you're going to type exclamation mark, exclamation mark pluggy, right? And then this is going to pop up when you type that in. So this is the actual download for pluggy, this right here, between walls. Um, this here is the installation guide. It is, it may be between walls, some, whoever's voice it is, um, just kind of showing the guide of how to install it, right? Um, it's, it's, it's clear, it's concise. If you want to just watch that, you're totally welcome to, but I'm just going to go in a little more detail um, and do this with the assumption that you have no idea what you're doing, which is what I was. So uh, we're going to click this link. Uh, sorry, you're going to hear my dogs behind me. They're, they're playing. Um, so you click that link and it'll take you here, right? Um, Here's the download that you're going to press to download the game. We'll download it. I've done this like five times already. Um, you'll also see this if you're just a normal Windows user and you don't know any of this stuff and this looks unfamiliar to you. You'll see this little shape here when I open this up. This is WinRAR. This is just an easier way to like uh, zip, extract files, stuff like that. It's just a nice, nice way to download files. So I would recommend you get this. It's, it's pretty easy. It's free. Um, there is like a subscription, but you can just cancel when it asks you to do more stuff. So you can use it as much as you like. So let's open it up. <clears throat> and yep, there you go. No, thank you. This is what you're going to see. This is what you're going to open up to. So what do you do? Let's go to our game file. So you're going to go to your C drive, wherever that may be. Oh, there it is, PC. C drive. Program files. So you're basically just finding Diablo 2, right? Found Diablo 2, and here it is. Now you're going to notice there is no save file. So right now I have nothing in my single player, right? Save The save file is kind of just like what you have, what's your single player stuff, right? And I don't have anything in my single player, so I'm not going to have any save files. But what we're going to do here is we're going to open these up. We're going to get this save file, and we're just going to put it in there, right? We're essentially copy pasting, you're dragging and dropping. So there it is, okay? So this is the this is the file you just added to your Diablo 2 folder. We're going to open it up and I'm going to show you, okay? So these are characters. This is a character called Bases. This is a character called Legacy. Um, I don't use these. I don't really know why they're included. They may have just a bunch of different more bases that are, are not in the shared stash. So maybe you can experiment with them. Go ahead. But um, you'll also see these two files, Blank Characters and Showcase Characters. So these are all your levels, right? You can have level 30 Amazon, you can have a level 99 Amazon, anywhere in between, right? If you're trying out different builds and you wanna see like where they are at that progression, you can do that. How do you get them there? You control copy, go back to your save file, control paste, right? So this is the third character now. So there's bases, there's legacies, and there's barbarian, right? So when I open up, now bear in mind, I don't have pluggy yet. I have base Diablo 2 still, right? I have PD2. So if I open this up, and go to single player, look at that. I have all those, right? And this is not cheating. This is not like I'm hacking the game. This is this is offered through PD2. Um, and this is all single player, right? You cannot access this on multiplayer. So I have my barbarian there, but I can't do the cool pluggy stuff. I don't have the, the like super long shared stash until I open up pluggy, until I get the game. So let's get the game. Okay, so next we're going to go back to Diablo 2. And remember, this game is going to be through Project Diablo 2. So we're going to open up PD2. We're going to go to PD2, right? And we're just going to paste everything in. Um, in the guide, he tells you not to do the mod stuff. Uh, I didn't. I never messed around with it. I'm not going to mess around with it. So I'm putting everything except for the modded stuff in here. 
And because I already have Pluggy, it'll probably ask me to replace the files in this destination. Um, so you probably won't get that, but if it does, yeah, just say yes, okay? So we have the game now. It is in our files. Now, here it is, Pluggy.exe. You can put it down there if you want to pin it to your taskbar, just to ease your access. It's, it's a little annoying to have to like load up all your, load all the way to get to the game. Um, but you will notice that now I can double click and this is Pluggy, right? So I'm now on Pluggy, see it down here. Okay, so I can open up my character, blah, blah, blah. But that's for another video. We're not gonna get too into that right now. Um, what I will show you with the rest of this video is I want to show you how to um, utilize the save characters and builds and stuff like that. So <clears throat> we've now downloaded the game and we have our save characters and we do have our shared stash. I'll show you that as well. But say we want to go get a save character that was already pre-made. Remember, these are showcase characters. I showed you how to get blank characters. Here's our showcase characters. So these are characters that people have made that whoever controls Pluggy decided like, that's a great build. I'm gonna put it into the game and you know put it into the file so people can use them, right? So, hey, I'm a barbarian. I'm just gonna keep showing you barbarian stuff. So say I wanna try out a, a Warcry barbarian. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back to my save file. This is where my characters lie. And I'll put it right there. So there it is. You are gonna see the name Warcry when I open up a new single player. Boom, there he is. We'll load him in. Okay, this always takes a little bit to open, that's all right. Just wait. Okay, so now this is someone's character that they made. This is the character that someone made in real time that uh, we decided was awesome enough to, to save and, and put into the shared files. So yeah, this is how we build it. He has his stash. Now you'll see, so I'm currently on the shared stash, right? And we're gonna go through that. It's gonna look like a lot, right? We're gonna go through that. I tried to toggle personal stash before I arrowed all that and it wouldn't work. Sometimes if you're having a hard time toggling personal stash, all you have to do is just kind of do this like once or twice and then you can then you can go back to it, right? So I hit shared stash or I hit personal stash and this is this guy's personal stash. Whoever made this character, this is what he had in the stash at the time when they saved it, okay? So you can do whatever you want with it. You don't have to do it. Um, and get rid of it all if you want. This is your character at this point, right? You can mess around as much as you want. But here is the shared stash. Now, again, I wasn't gonna show, go much too into detail with this, but I just wanna show you what it is, um, right? So this, this is this right here. This is your shared stash. So when you're messing around with this or say like you lose something and, and you need it back and it's like, well, how do I get it back? And you know, it's now it's gone from the game. I don't know how to get it again. All you have to do is you go to your downloads, go to your shared stash, file, copy it and move it over, right? That's it. So that, if you, if you ever lose it, right? Say like, you know, say like, we'll go to the beginning. So say like all these runes dropped and yeah, use them up or something like that. Um, make sure I'm not set on read only. We're gonna go into this in another video. Uh, I'm not, so yep, they're all gone. <clears throat> I go back into the game, look at my shared stash. And, oh shoot, these are all gone. I wish they were back. How do I get them back? You go here and you just copy it back in. Replace it. Yes, please. Okay, now it's back. So now I'll go to my stash. Boom, there they all are. So I've reset it. So if you ever need to like, if you ever lose something and you're like, shoot, how do I get it back? You can always just re-download the shared stash um, and put it back in the game. Easy does it. Uh, all right, so, Let's see, I think I went over everything in terms of downloading the game, right? So we talked about how to get the save files. We talked about what's in the save files. We have uh, we have our blank characters, we have our showcase characters. Uh, we have how to get the, you know, these are all your characters here. This is the shared stash. Uh, we talked about downloading the game. Remember, it's just Diablo 2, Project Diablo 2. You copy everything into there. Um, and then again, pluggy.exe is the one you want. You can pin it to your taskbar. I do that as well. Um, Last thing I'll say is how do you, so say you're doing this on one computer and you wanna like save your progress and load it up on another computer, but you're not sure how, um, right? So say this barbarian is the one I wanna I wanna save. Well, actually here, say, say this Warcry barbarian, right? You have to take all these files, right click, 
add to Warcry, right? So this is basically just going to zip them. It's to a, it's going to send them to a folder and you're going to add to Warcry, right? Now, if you want to also include the shared stash, you would just include it, right? Control click, right? Right click, add to save. So now that's going to have everything with the shared stash. Okay, so if I wanted, if I had something in the shared stash that I really wanted to keep, um, I would I would do that. So that's essentially how it works. I mean, that's that's Pluggy. That's how to get it. Um, again, I'm going to go into more details on how I use Pluggy and some some common mistakes I, I found while I was using Pluggy. Um, but that'll be another video. This was basically just how to download it. Um, but that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, add in the comments. I'm happy to talk to you guys. Um, as always, I gotta advertise myself a little bit, right? Like and follow if you if you enjoy this. Like subscribe, I should say. Um, check my check my page out. I do have a lot more videos, build guides, stuff like that. Um, some reactions to D four if you want to check those out. Um, but anyway, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. And uh, yeah, have a good day, everybody. Bye.